Today we're going to do a water change on the Karibi Piranhas tank, but before that, I wanted to show you a tooth that he shed. I got it on my finger so you can see the size of the thing. It's sharp like a razor blade, and this is a dull one because he shed it. But I also wanted to show you at the end of the video, one of my ball valve systems I made to fill up my tank real quick. I'm going to fill the tank up in actual time so you can see how fast it works. And then uh, make sure you watch the video to the end to see the system I came up with. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, I just got done vacuuming this tank. Now I'm going to fill the tank back up in actual time to show you how fast my new system works. So here we go. Let me check the temperature of the water. Perfect. Put my hand by him so you get an idea how big he is. It's about a foot long. Still a beauty. Man, it's almost filled already. I time this with my uh, 125. I do a 75% water change on my 125. And it does, I guess it fills it back up in like four minutes flat, which is pretty quick. I don't know how fast this is. I never timed it, but it's almost done already. What I did was solder in on the hot and cold pipes by my sink instead of using the uh, faucet because it's slow, it only does a few gallons an hour. I used half inch with two half inch ball valves on the hot and cold. And then I put a third ball valve past them to shut it on and off. I'll actually show you a, a picture of it when I'm done. And uh, my God, if I take that, uh, plastic thing that's in the tank, the deflector I made off, this hose will shoot like 10 feet, the water pressure. But it's about time to shut it off, I leave it about an inch from the top, so that's it. Let me go shut it. Here's the system that I made. This one here is the, um, hot water. It's a half inch I use with a half inch ball valve. Here's the cold side. Same thing. Half inch, half inch ball valve. What I do is I adjust the temperature like you would with your sink with the hot and cold. And then I open this up and check it. When it's the right temperature, I just open it full blast. Fills up your tanks pretty damn quick. Saves me a lot of time. And here's another thing I made. My handmade vacuum cleaner. I used an aluminum tube. I hooked the hose on the end. And actually a clear shampoo bottle taped, like stuck in and taped on the end. Been using it for like five years. Works good. But that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.